Hi, welcome back or welcome to the channel. Now, today we have to talk about Diablo 4's monetization things. Basically, how Blizzard plans on monetizing Diablo 4. Um, and I'm going to, small spoiler alert, it's pretty fair news. It's good, if not fair news, okay? I'll put a link in the description below to this whole article that we we're about to read. Um, but, um, to give the too long did not read version of it, they... They really don't plan on doing too, too much monetization as far as, you know, pay to win type stuff. Instead, it's going to be paid for cosmetics. They are, however, going to do a season pass, okay? Now, season pass, they, um... You know, cosmetic shop and season pass, none of which provide any pay for power or pay to win, um, type things is what they say. So, um, they seem to be with the whole cosmetic thing of everything, okay? It also says here, the season pass will have three tiers and premium tiers, um, picture games like Destiny 2, um, the, you know, the, the free progress, you unlock certain things in the season pass, and then you have your paid tier, which gives you better rewards and whatnot, but, unlike Destiny, it seems like they are saying that this will contain mostly just, you know, cosmetic stuff, which isn't bad at all. I mean, Overwatch has cosmetic things. I'll be honest, I would not mind that, you know, that cosmetic stuff. Now, it does say Season Pass awards free season boosts, boosts in progress for, like, extra XP and stuff, but they do, you know, they do clarify that it's free. So, I'm assuming that means the free tier will offer, um, you know, awarded boosts. So basically, the more you log on and play, the better off for you. Uh, let's see. Players can purchase tiers, but they won't speed up getting season boosts. Players can't upgrade the season boost just by purchasing tiers, because they also have to earn level milestone to apply them. So, this Okay, this part right here gets a little gray area, if I'm being perfectly honest, because it's unclear if you get the same levels to unlock them if you pay. So, even though you're not paying for the boosts directly, you might be paying for the means to unlock said boosts. It's technically a workaround that you've seen games like Destiny 2 and stuff, you know, do technically you're not buying the, you know, item, you're instead buying the chance to get the item. But we'll see how that works. Let me know in the comment section below if that's something you'd be okay with, like, for me, it still loads better than the alternative, which is just straight up buy the item. Okay? Let's see. And the shop. That's the main thing I want to also look at here. Let's see. The design of the shop. Okay. And let's see. Okay. 
hit that screenshot of the shop, okay? Okay, so I don't even know why I bothered clicking on this. We have no clue what this is. Is this armor? No, it, it's probably cosmetic. It looks like cosmetic. Ooh, Rack Lord, that seems pretty cool. Oh, it does say cosmetic. Okay, there we go. But yeah, that seemed to be the consensus of the whole cosmetic thing. It's not a bad thing at all. I mean, if they can stick to this mostly, if not all, just cosmetics, that is going to be very good. It seems like they're committed to do it. Now, how much the game will cost, I'm not entirely sure, because things are a bit interesting these days. Now, you have games like Warframe, which are free to play, but you can technically buy stuff to complete earlier. Like, you can buy all of the characters or Warframes in the game. You can buy some of the mechanic stuff. Then you have games like Overwatch 2, which are going to be, which is going to be free to play apparently, but it has a season pass or battle pass, if you will. And it lets you sort of get cosmetics. Then you have games like Destiny 2, with just Straight up, it's free to, it's technically free to play, but in the end it's more of a free to try type thing. And they charge for just about everything they can without overcharging too much. Um, you know, so it would be interesting to see how much this game will cost in the end. But yeah, I'd love to know your guys' opinion in the comment section below. Is this something that you're like, yes, good job, Blizzard, you listened to us. Or are you like, eh, I still don't like the monetization in the game. I'd much rather it be a full price $60, $70 game with some, you know, like, light DLC skins that you can buy. I'd love to know where you stand either way on it. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later.